welcome back to another computer sluggish video. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button and click on the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. And check out my forum at computersluggish.com. In today's GIMP tutorial, I will be showing you how to blur out a certain area within a image or picture. As you can see, I currently have my wallpaper in GIMP. And I'm just going to blur out this text in the middle. To start off with, first I'm going to use my rectangle tool and just simply select the area that I want to blur. If you have a awkward selection that you need to do, you can use the free select tool, which is this one here, or press F on your keyboard. And then you can simply go around and select the area that you would like to select like I just have there and just make sure you join up the two dots. I'm just going to select my rectangle tool again and go ahead and select the text area like that and I'm now going to go control and C or you can copy this area by going up to edit and going copy. I'm now going to create a new layer by going down to the bottom right hand corner and under layers I'm going to select this option here to create a new layer. I'm now going to press OK. And I'm now going to go Control and V, or you can go up to Edit and go Paste. And I'm then going to select this option here to create a new layer with the image. And you didn't actually need to create that layer, so I'm just going to delete that layer. Right, as you can see, I now have the text copied onto a new layer. If I just hide my wallpaper background, you can see there's my text. Let's just display that again. And I'm now going to make sure I have the layer selected that I just copied and pasted into. And I'm now going to go up to filters and I'm now going to go to blur. You can now select which blur you would like to use. I'm just going to select pixelize. And straight away, as you can see, it's now pixelized the text. You can make lots of different adjustments here. We can change the size ratio. We can change the block width. We can change the block height. You can do lots of different things. If you do want to change the numbers individually, then all you need to do is select this option here, and that will allow you to do it separately. Once you are happy, you can go ahead and press OK. And there we go. I have now blurred out a specific area, or should I say pixelated, a certain area on my wallpaper, or my image, or picture, should I say. If you don't want to create a new layer, because basically I can just hide that again and I can see my text again. If you don't want to do that and you just want to simply make the adjustments on the main layer, the main image, then all you need to do is simply select the area. I'm going to use the free select tool this time and I'm going to go around the text here. Let's go around tutorials and let's go back again and deselect and then link up the two dots. There we go and you can see it's now flashing, which means it's selected. I can now go up to filters and I can then go to blur and let's just select a different blur. Let's select the top option and straight away you can see it's kind of added a blur. If I turn the size up, it blurs it even more. And that is how simple it is to add a blur to the original layer as well. And that is it for this tutorial. If you did find this tutorial helpful, then please hit the like button. And also, if you have a tutorial in GIMP or any other tutorial in Windows that you'd love to see me do, then please head on over to computersluggish.com and post a thread requesting for a tutorial. And I will see if I can do it. And also, don't forget to subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials. Don't forget to check out my social media channels and forums.